How's it going fellow city builders? I am Jake, your resident architect, and welcome to Cities by Jake. Today we are going to be checking out the new Beach Properties Asset Pack by creating a small lakeside neighborhood in the city of Magnolia right here in City Skylines 2. If you like lake towns like me, please give this video a like and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon to be notified when a new episode comes out. Lastly, your comments spark through creativity here in Magnolia, so drop a comment on what I should do in the build next. Who knows, it might be featured. All right, with that, let's get into it. All right, so this is the first episode after the big update that Paradox and Colossal Order released on March 25th. And we also have the beach waterfront housing. We also are, we have Paradox mods and right here is the new mods that I will be using. Some of them include elementary school or school um, adjuster. Uh, and then I also have the train, uh, the depot ad adjuster in here. I have plopable zoning. Um, I have move it, but although I don't know how to use it yet, uh, I'll have to kind of dive into it a little bit further. And then a few other continuation mods that were on the Thunderstore. There is one mod that I hope to see soon that is on the Thunderstore, but not on Paradox mods. And that is the ELT surface extension. Um, I don't want to show you our downtown because a lot of those surfaces that we made in this downtown area are no longer there and it's pretty bare. But yeah, so the update happened and I honestly getting a little, the performance is a little chumpy. But I'm not sure if that's just because of the size of our city. Still not quite there yet. Um, or there are some settings that happened that I would need to kind of adjust. But overall, I think the simulation has gone in a lot better. Again, still a little jumpy, but it's not those frequent pauses that you probably may have seen in the previous episodes. But yeah, so hopefully also, I you know, in the patch notes, the land value should adjust and hopefully a lot of these notes will a lot of these high rent signs and warnings will go away with time i haven't really sat down and let the city run in sim yet um but hopefully things will change as we kind of let this run so the area that we're going to be doing this lakeside town-esque is right here and then we'll probably kind of continue it on over here and wrap around. We're going to kind of do something similar to this area, not do a business park, but we'll do kind of shopping center and some small lakes. I don't know if you've ever been to a lake town. There's a lot of a main street that runs across with a lot of the stores and then the rest are like small cabin-esque um, homes and I don't really want to do beachfront properties not because of you can't really do a beach here and but I don't think the beach um, vibe that they had in the trailer fits this map i think uh, a lakeside village i guess would probably be benefit a little bit more and obviously this place that has snow will not you'll not see palm trees so it doesn't really make sense to do a proper like miami or florida-esque um beach in this town so i may maybe in the future i'll find a map on the paradox mods to kind of really showcase that dlc anyways enough blabbering um let's continue let's just go ahead and start building so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an interchange similar to this over here and then we'll have our main street kind of up into here bring this around and then we'll do pocket neighborhoods and we'll do some homes along this lake 
edge and then we'll continue it on through here i'm not gonna buy these zones yet just because actually you know what might as well do it all right we have the tiles and we have obviously have the money so we might as well just buy these eight tiles i think that'll be good for now because what we can do is we can continue it on but then we can also kind of loop it and cross here but i wanted to check i wanted to check the contours before we actually get going because i want to know and it looks like it's relatively flat and it starts sloping down here I want to slope this down right around here and slope it back up and then we'll have the road, the main road, go across right through here and then the off ramps will slope up. I think that will probably be the best route. Okay, so we're going to pause this and then I'm going to get the bulldozer out and we're just going to demo all of this. And then we'll get our landscaping tool, the level terrain, go down to probably 60 works. And then let's grab that height. probably works then we'll slope up that is almost perfect hopefully it's not too steep and then we'll probably do the same thing right here And what I want to do is grab a medium road. I want to see. Probably good, but it looks like we need to do some leveling. To get it a little straight. Okay. So let's grab this medium road and then we will So this will be like our downtown area where you have all of the shopping centers and all of that stuff. Like basically the center of the commercial and then they'll have pocket neighborhoods 
right through here i think right here we'll do normal low density homes and then all through here will be those beachfront properties and then same goes over through here and i don't know i think we'll probably leave this area blank for now and then i want the road to eventually run here and we might do something over here in the very far future but i want to make i want to see what this looks like That's definitely better. Although this is going to have to take a lot more modification. And now that is very tight. I think what we're going to do is we're going to up, we're going to do a four lane here up and then do two lanes that go down through here and then two lanes or three lanes that go down through here and then one lane up and then continue on and then four lanes that connect to the single lane here and then it goes back to because it's three lanes here so let's keep three lanes we'll do that but i like that it's definitely a long straightaway but i think it's fine probably have to we'll have to do some turning here anyways so let's just get that turn in here now so that we can know plan for the future okay just leave it like that I might change this up a little bit, obviously, maybe. This could end up turning into a expressway over through here. I think I might do that now because a lot of the sims, when we start developing over here, will just park here and then they'll walk. So probably just change that after I get this interchange um, done. Start it up. So that has been added and not the prettiest right now, but I just really just kind of cleaned up the slope work. We'll add probably trees towards the end. I wish, you know, th these types of intersections are something that I do lack on, but 
this kind of made sense where you don't have the yield that you would here you just kind of like stop here and these would obviously have their yield. um kind of that's that's kind of the vibe that i was going for so yeah and then we'll go ahead and probably do a lot of detailing after we kind of fill in our neighborhoods so I, next i want to do is i want to lay out the roads and i was thinking of doing another main road maybe we do a main road and it slopes and it curves up over the highway and then it comes back around and that way we can leave homes here to be on the lake I just want to just use a normal two-lane road. This. That. I think this is where... This is where we're just going to do that. Oh. Start sloping down right here. something like that and then we can continue on but I'm not gonna work on that right now I want to focus on this area I kind of want to do grid kind of towards the back and then we're obviously gonna have to follow the terrain over here so that we can place our on the water beach assets through here so let's focus on the on the water path right now i'm just hugging that outer circle right up against the edge the lake front edge And we'll just tie it into there. Then let's get straight. Do that, and I'll do another. Great. Then we'll do another straight through here. kind of continue that same strip of so this 90 and then we'll continue get our continuous just Is 
This is going to be a dead end path. Um, probably a little cul-de-sac through here. Um, once it starts sloping, so we'll probably do do one on this corner. And then this will be like a little cul-de-sac, little neighborhood. And I want to just drag that, drag this out. Then this out will do. Continue this. Delete that. Add another one here. That way we have our grid. And I'm obviously not going to fill in all of these. These homes are very are going to be very spaced out. Okay, so my game crashed and had to restart all of this. So if it looks a little different, then that's why. Um, it actually crashed right when I started to do this turn. Um, yeah, so I had to redo everything. Now I turned on autosave, so hopefully that doesn't affect it. But, you know, quick little research while I was waiting for the game to turn back on. It seems like... I'm not the only one having this issue and after the first crash you should be good for a few hours um that i've had two crashes now so we will see if it changes anything but autosave is on so that is fine what i want to do actually so we're gonna create a road back here and kind of cut back into here now and then we'll probably create another small alleyway through here um, but i want to sort of level this out really level it like this that's why because this is lower so we just do that. Do something like this, kind of level that out. That should be better. I want to use that as a target. Great arrow. Lined up right there. Curve again. 48, 32. 32. Straight. The down 0.3, up 1, interesting. On 180, this up 5. And this is where we'll get our continuous slope to follow the edge. Something like that. Something like that. And I think right here is where we're going to have. Hey, okay, hold on.
one more there B okay six on each side a straight I might need that actually. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue these blocks that will have probably four homes in each block. I'm going to do the same thing over here. We are going to one, two, three, five, six. Oh, sorry. One, two, nine, ten. Straight up. I think every other we're gonna connect to this corner street so we'll leave this like this for now and then I might no we're not gonna I might bring that in but Drag that down. Drag that up. There's hills there, which is fine because I don't want to connect to the rows. I want to connect to these horizontal roads. And we didn't really respect the topography a little bit here. As you can tell, it's close, but that's fine. So I'm going to go and do all of this grid out and be right back. Okay, so that layout is laid out. So we're going to have homes along this edge. And then we'll do four-ish homes in through here. I might do some commercial at this corner just because it's a larger lot. But then all commercial parking and typical um, like commercial streets. And we'll do same thing on this side. But once we kind of get this all zoned out, then I will go and lay out this area. Because we're not going to put any residential around here. It's just going to be in this area right here. So we have our NA low density waterfront housing, and then we also have European waterfront housing. So I'm probably going to play around and mix match the two just to kind of see where we're at.
So all of the homes on the water are built. And I kind of, I mean, I don't know if I would definitely call the beach homes. I think, you know, honestly, they're more... Whenever I see these homes, I just picture lake, like lake homes, home, just homes on the lake. I don't see these types of homes on the beach, but let's obviously these are all level ones. So maybe they level up, they'll change. <clears throat> So I'm gonna go ahead and zone all of these. I'm gonna go ahead and zone out all of this area and then we'll come in commercial. And then while I was watching these, I had some ideas that we'll do at the end for the detailing portion of this episode. So after another cra game crash, we kind of jumped back into March. We were sitting in April, I think, but um, now it's snowing. So I haven't seen snow in a while. I was using the uh, Legacy Flavor mod to kind of turn snow off for a while, and now that is not on Paradox Mods. But... Um, yeah, we got all our zonings. I added some mix use through here just to kind of add some flair. I wanted to see what it looked like, um, but kind of looking at these now, I will probably just get rid of them. Um, I wanted, I really wanted to see what it looked like and hoped that it was fine. Um, I'm gonna do that for this one. Well, hoping that we had it kind of blended in a little bit, but it doesn't. So that means we are going to just add a more homes. So I'm gonna get to this new road out and this is the one thing i don't really like about winter it's the contour lines all that well 
Now I hope that it's flat. And I think I'm actually just gonna dead end this road. Downgrade. We do a small roundabout actually. Not common in these neighborhoods, but we'll just do a small roundabout. That way we get our alleyway here. Bring it around. What we'll do is we'll follow the terrain back through here. Then we'll do the same thing here. Then we have a little round, little corner. I know I said I probably wasn't going to develop in here, but this is kind of a lot of empty space, so I'll probably go to like right here. And actually, let's just bring this. Here. We'll line it up like that. There, we have a straight line through here and we're hoping that 90 degrees we will do something like this something like that okay so those are the outer roads now the hard part with the snow it as is here this is kind of like a big this is pretty far you have to go there but deal you would probably want a exit over through here but it's probably fine now i'm gonna lay out our commercial grip and i think this is where i'll probably put a lot of that medium density that i wanted to put down here Okay, so we added our commercial district. I added, um, I forgot the mod that I did was also city service um, update. So I can, expands the coverage for this. So when I placed it, it didn't really need it, but um, I think actually the update did that as well, but I think a more practical needed one over here as well. 
I added some city service, fire station, medical clinic, and police station over in this area. Then right now, I'm just going to go ahead and zone a lot more low density homes over and through here. And I might mix in some of these new beach assets just because I want to get more of these. Okay, so I went ahead and just did um, the beach properties assets throughout the whole spot, um, just because I feel like this can be a, a lake town where people who live in the inner city would have like their own family home or people who just live here full time. So we'll probably have to put a school and a high school in here, which is fine. Um, we do have a high school over here, so we may not have to put one over here, but we definitely should put an elementary school in here when we expand. But I think I'm not gonna expand anymore. I'm going to let this run so that we can get rid of the snow and then we can do a bunch of detailing Especially around this edge. I think you probably know what I'm thinking about doing, but um, I'm just going to let this run. Actually, let's add some homes right here as well. Homes in that corner. But yeah, so I am going to just let this run and then once it's summer or at least snow has melted then we can come back Ooh, there's a lot of death Probably should put something over here. Water is good. Flying is good. Okay. But yeah, we should. When we kind of expand in here, we probably should put a power, some power structure over here. Okay, so once this becomes summer, I will be right back and then I will come right back. Okay, so once this becomes summer, I will come back and we will do the last portion and that is detailing.
so I went ahead and detailed a lot by this coast. I didn't really go ahead and detail. I just really added trees. I didn't know. I don't really think there's a lot to detail in here, especially along with this area. The main focus I wanted to do was detail along the lake because I feel like that's what this episode was really about is the beach. They're called beachfront properties, but in the game it's called the waterfront properties. So, um, yeah, so these lake homes. So I added a bunch of docks to some of these homes, and then I added a cute little dock. So if you don't have a dock for these homes, dock your boat, jet ski, or whatever. And then I added a parking lot, and then um, I did two um, dirt roads as kind of like an, a ramp to drop your boat, jet ski, whatever, into the lake and then I surrounded it by rocks so you know you would come here drop your car off dock your boat and then park your trailer or truck wherever or go back and then um yeah so i honestly like this i might add a few more docks off camera but obviously when we get to this side we'll probably um go in and add a lot more this is abandoned. Hmm. Curious at to know what um, I want to ban a heavy traffic road parking fee. Let's energy consumption. Cycling. Okay. But yeah, so that is that. I might add a few more beachfront properties around here too. But I think around here, this is gonna be blank. And then I think around here, I might kind of fill in and do um, some beaches. But I, we're gonna move, we're gonna do that in a future episode. I really just wanted to kind of get these new assets in the game and do this idea that I've had for a while. Now we can actually do it with the um, waterfront properties. No, they don't really look like waterfront properties to me, but to each your own, I guess. So that's going to do it for today's episode. Really enjoy this episode. Please give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon to be notified when a new episode comes out. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.